Hey guys, welcome back to Maker Lex. Today I'm going to be starting my Learn How to Knit series, and I'm going to show you what we need to get started learning how to knit. All you're going to need is any kind of yarn that you want. This yarn is either Lion Brand, Woolies, Thick and Quick, or it's something very similar. It's a bulky weight yarn, and I think you can buy it for about five or six dollars at any craft store, Michaels, Joanne, Hobby Lobby. Um, they always have coupons too, so make sure you get one of those and use it so you don't have to pay as much. Um, they have sales on it all the time as well. And then I'm going to be using these size 13 bamboo needles, and they're actually double pointed, so you can see they have points on both ends. You don't need to have needles that have double points on them. Just get any standard knitting needles that kind of have an end on them. These just happen to work well with this yarn so that you can see what's going on. All right, so the first thing we need to learn how to do in knitting is how to cast on. Casting on is the method of actually getting our yarn on the needles so that we can work with it in the first place. And I'm gonna be teaching you the long tail cast on method. Um, this method is pretty standard when you're learning how to knit. It's not the only cast on method, but it's gonna get you pretty far. So what I'm gonna do is here's the tail end of my yarn, and then the yarn that's still attached to the ball is called the working yarn. So I'm gonna take this tail end and I'm gonna drape it over my thumb in my left hand. And then I'm also going to drape my yarn over my pointer finger like that. And then I kind of have these two sides hanging down. This is the tail end, this is the working yarn. I'm just gonna grab those two and hold them together with my other three fingers on my left hand. All right, so you can kind of see it makes this little triangle shape. All right, so now I'm gonna take one of my knitting needles in my right hand and I'm going to put my needle under the yarn. I'm gonna put my pointer finger here so I can hold it in place so it doesn't slip while I'm working. I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under the yarn that's closest to us on our thumb on the outside there. And then I'm gonna go over the yarn that's on my pointer and pull it through. And then the very first time I do this, it actually creates two stitches, but from here on out, it's just gonna create one. All right, so the yarn's kind of already in place. You just do the same thing over the thumb, over the pointer, grab the two ends with your other fingers, and then I don't have to really hold my pointer here as much anymore because that yarn's pretty much around the needle. But I'm gonna go under the yarn closest to me on my thumb. I'm gonna go over this yarn on my pointer finger and pull it through that loop that's on my thumb. All right, so there's my third stitch. And I'm gonna go under again, over, and pull it through. I'm gonna do this a little bit faster now, just for six more stitches until I have 10. Under, over, and through. Under, over, through. And see my tail end yarn here is getting pretty short. So make sure when you're first starting, pull out a really nice long tail to work with. I don't know how many stitches that is. Is that it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I did an extra. So there's 11, but there you have it. That is the long tail cast on method. There's all my stitches nice and neat. Now I pulled mine pretty taut on here. Um, so, you know, I have to kind of make a lot of effort to slide them around. But some, a tip that I picked up when I was first learning how to knit, or sometimes you just need to for whatever pattern you're doing, um, you can actually hold two needles together and do this process with the two needles. It's gonna look a little awkward here, but it is possible. All right, so this is the same thing, just doing it with two needles. And then I would just slide one of my needles out and I still have my cast on stitches and they're kind of all nice and even, um, but they're a little bit easier to work with. See, they slide much easier and they'll be easier to get into when you start working. All right, so that is the long tail cast on method. Keep watching. I'm gonna show you how to knit next.